that's it. So, uh, I feel like I always am so nervous the moment I start filming, which is so weird to me because I know that like I'm more of an extrovert now than I, when I, well, I guess I'm still an introvert. I just have some extrovert tendencies. I don't know, but I just feel like I'm always so nervous, even though I've been making videos for so long. I possibly have not been putting them out as much, but I've been making videos and like talking to myself for a really long time. So I don't know why I get so nervous the way I do, but it's just, it's, it's weird. I'm really excited to come to you guys with another pregnancy vlog, just because I just, I feel so good. I feel so good and I kind of feel guilty. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I keep comparing it to my last pregnancy and I keep comparing it to the fact that I did not feel good last time. So I, I just feel guilty because I'm like, I'm pregnant. The baby is healthy. The baby's fine. There's a great heartbeat. So why am I feeling amazing? Like, I feel like I should be throwing up. I should be like, I don't know, like... What are other things that my ladies do? My boo should be like in pain. Like I should be having some issues right now. But I'm not. And it's really kind of tripping me out a little bit. Um, I'd say it's more so tripping me out because you hear so much about, oh, if you have a lot of symptoms and that just means the progesterone's running through your body, and blah, blah, blah. That means the baby's healthy. That means this is a good pregnancy. When in reality, like, you can also go through your pregnancy and not have any symptoms and the baby still be healthy. And I feel like, I mean, it's not that I don't have any, it's just that the symptoms that I do have are very mild. And I mean, when I say mild, I mean like nauseous for two minutes and then I'm done. Um, and a lot of the women that I've talked to or a lot of the women that are in my, my birth group from uh, baby center are like, oh, you guys are the lucky ones, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, because I feel like just in the way that I've known pregnancy to be, if I'm having a lot of symptoms, that means I know that I'm still pregnant. Even though, you know, I don't know if that's loud, like if you guys can hear me over the washing machine. I'm gonna go close the door. Um, speaking of the symptoms that I actually do have, however mild they are, um, I've been having the craziest, I mean, out of this world crazy dreams. And most of them are like, I mean, like entirely different worlds. I mean, I'm in different places. I'm living in a dystopian American future. Like, it's just crazy. And I, I can't even explain how these dreams are like shaping my life. Like, sometimes I'll have a really, really bad dream that is just about me and my guy. And I wake up angry. Like, I wake up the, the maddest person in the world. And I just turn at him and I'm like... And he's like, babe, what's wrong with you? You just woke up. Why are you already mad? And so I'm just like, I dislike you right now for what you did to me in my dream. And then he's just like, okay, well, I'm sorry for what I did. Like, but it really sucks because like, I'll wake up the craziest times of the night. And I mean, they can be scary dreams. Sometimes they're nightmares. Sometimes they're just me being a crazy person. I don't know, me being locked in an asylum. Like, I think last night I had some weird dream about, like, I don't even know. What was that dream about? I don't know. I've had dreams about me driving a Jeep and picking people up and, and, and um, I don't know. I just, I can't explain it. I just been having some crazy dreams. Uh, the other symptoms I've been having are just, um, I've been peeing a lot, but I, think I'm just hydrated very well like I don't know um I'm not peeing nearly as much as I was in the beginning which scared me a little bit because I was like in the beginning I, I mean I don't remember if I said this in the the first video or not but I was like nauseous I mean my stomach was like rolling I was peeing like every 30 minutes my boobs are starting to get tender none of that has happened um and so I'm just, I was just wondering like what happened. And then last week, I know in the video I said that we had an ultrasound um, coming up, but last week we, um, we had an ultrasound and we saw the baby's heartbeat. The baby was still there, still fine. So it's like, <laughs> um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones, unfortunately. In real life, we just, like, officially announced to, 
um, my family and then officially announced and like said the words on like Facebook and everything like that. So we officially announced, even though a lot of people already knew, and I know that some people are just weirded out because they're like, oh, we don't know what to say, you know, we don't want to be, you know, not like excited, but we don't want to like give you encouragement and then like you lose another baby, stuff like that. And what I basically said is just, listen, there is going to be any chance or like at any point in this pregnancy, it doesn't even matter if we're nine weeks, if we're 12 weeks, if we're 15 weeks, the risk of miscarriage is going to go down. Of course, um, once you hear the heartbeat, the risk of miscarriage is going to go down. Once you get to the second trimester, the risk of miscarriage is going to go down, blah, blah, blah. But there will always be a risk of miscarriage. I mean, however rare it is, there are people who lose their babies, you know, they, they go full term with a healthy pregnancy and lose their babies at like week 35. You know, there are people, you know, the stillborn babies, they're the ones that have their babies, have healthy babies, and then due to whatever issues, the baby dies, you know, after a month of living. So anything could ever, anything possible could happen. Um, now, I've had a miscarriage before, so I'm less naive about the possibilities. So I know that it's totally possible that... I could wake up one day in a pool of my own blood, you know, and baby comes out and, you know, life takes a turn for the worse just for that little bit of time. But I also know that there could be a 100% possibility of us having a healthy baby. I am not going to spend my entire pregnancy. And I, I told my parents this. I told my guy this and he's on board. I've told a lot of people this. Like, I'm not going to spend my entire pregnancy so, like, upset all the time and, like, worried and, like freaking out like yes I'm worried yes sometimes I I cry because I I can't fathom the like I can't imagine having another miscarriage because the first time was so hard and then being so in love with my baby this time and then having to do all that again but at the same time like I can't spend this entire time being pessimistic it's just it's not who I am I've people who've known me have always known me to be a very optimistic person I've always felt like there's a way to either get around something or there's a way to fix something or there's something that we can do to just make us happier so I can't be this crazy pessimistic person all right like I just want to get to the doctor and see the baby because I the last time I never saw the baby so I was just like I want to get there I want to see the baby and I just want to know that she's okay and blah 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 and um and we did and the more that we go on in the pregnancy and the, the better I feel the the more that we get to see the baby and actually see that she's alive or he's alive I just feel better um now my guy he's just always been like a cynical guy just in life and with throughout this pregnancy every single time I'm feeling like oh something's gonna happen like the baby's gonna like what is gonna happen I'm so scared every single time he's like no Jade listen the baby's fine we're going to have a freaking baby in like seven months, like in six months, in five months. He, and he's probably going to keep counting down. But he's like, we're going to have a baby. Like, stop worrying about it. The baby's fine. And essentially, the entire time we were going to the ultrasound um, last week, he's like, listen, I promise you the baby's okay. And so then that automatically was like, you can't say that because if the baby's not okay, then whatever. And he's just like, no, the baby's okay. And then we go to the ultrasound. Baby's there. Heartbeat's there. And he's like... I told you so. Which guys are not supposed to say thank you? But he's like, I told you so, I told you so. And I'm like, I guess. <laughs> but I was happy to be wrong. <laughs> I just feel like I have to be positive. I have to remain who I am. And I have to realize that if something does happen, I have the support system of my family. I have my guy. I have, you know, people that barely know me, you know, people that I work with that are in my corner. Like, I have to realize that if something does happen, I will be strong. I am not going to be, I'm not going to break down. I'm not going to have some kind of crazy, you know, young life crisis. Um, I'm just going to have to deal with it as it comes. And I don't think it will. I, I am going to be optimistic I'm going to think positively and I'm going to start doing the things that I want to do to make sure that this baby is comfortable and ready when she gets here it's um, crazy um anyway so I just wanted to talk and ramble and 
share how excited I am about my nine week pregnancy. Um, I will say that being due October 23rd is, is, is definitely the best thing that's ever happened. Um, it's only a few days before my birthday and I keep telling my guy, I'm like, listen, as soon as we, we get to 38 weeks, I don't care what kind of old midwife's tale nonsense we have to look into, this baby is coming out. We're not doing no 41, 42, 43 week pregnancy. The baby is coming out. Might not be on her due date, but she's coming out. She's not going to be stuck in there happy and no. Listen, honey, you're going to come out once you're done cooking. You don't stay in there and cuddle with my organs, okay? I'm just saying. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching.